you really need here is these two recons, right? Your 80 kV one and your 140 kV one. So this one has a metal artifact in the bone? Yes. Oh, it's fine. perfect. It's fine. This is the one that you guys yeah. did. Yeah. Okay. So I also had it so when you do it again on your other, if you want to use the bony algorithm one, if it'll say bone instead of soft tissue, it's going to say soft tissue down here, but it'll say bone. Um, but let's just do the one you have right now. Let me show you how to do it. So we're going to double click here. We're going to open it up. We're going to open it up in the, in the protocol. In the dual energy. That's the first thing we do. And as you see over here, it loaded in the 140 kV and the 80 kV. See that? Okay. So it says verify this. And it says, okay, that looks good. Now, before we do anything, we're going to turn it into the monoenergetic. So we click on this little arrow and click on the yellow here. Show monoenergetic image. So now we're going to find a single KEV that looks best. First of all, it looks good here because you're not looking where the metal is. But if I drag this down, look at all that metal artifact. See all that metal artifact coming from there? All right, so that's a good spot to look at, right? So we're going to find an area that looks bad. There you go. Now we're going to come to the bottom of the image down here. You see this little yellow thing? Now we can drag this over, just a little bit more, a little bit higher KV, and we let go. Now look how much it cleaned that up. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. Much better. It's not perfect, but it's much better than it was. And what I'm doing is just playing with this little, this little slider yeah, here. Yeah, taking away all the sparkle. Yeah, I'm trying to it's get it science. so we have oh, less. <laughs> now if I go over more, it might have more, but then it looks kind of grainy, right? So I'm going to bring it right about here. I think I'm going to use this one. Okay, yeah. maybe 90, 89. So I think it may depend on the patient, you know, what they have in there. So now that I've done that, now I'm ready to do my coronals and sagittals, right? Okay, so let's come over here and right click and click on parallel ranges. And as soon as you do that, you get your nice coronal there. I just want to make sure I don't cut anything off, so I move it out. And we, we're usually going to do, what are we doing, two by twos on these, you guys? I think so. Twos. And then come down here and just put two there. You don't want to save that. Now we're ready to go, okay? So just open this up to the top where you want to start. Oh, I see that's not we'll a... We want to line it too well. Yeah, hold on a second. You want this two by two to see me go. Okay, there we go. So now, yeah, you can line it up too if you wanted to angle this a little bit. There we go. That's what you're saying, right? You wanted to angle? And then we can... um. Right on this, and we'll get, when we save it, we'll, we'll be able to label it coronal? Yeah, okay, I'll do it right yeah. now. I'll do it right now for you. So we open it up, start at the top, go to the bottom of the bone that you see, and then go ahead and hit start right over here where it says um, start. Oh, yeah, okay. and see? We'll and there it is. Boom. Start. That's your coronal. You save with a little save yeah, as the pencil. And, and up here, you can just type in, let's just type in. Um, I'm going to do mono so they know that it was done with the uh, mono energetic, okay? Mm -hmm. And I'll say mono coronal. Mono coronal uh, soft tissue, okay? How's that? That's a coronal soft tissue. Oh, this is soft tissue? Well, well yeah, it's, it's, it's soft tissue. Yeah, it's not bone. So if you want a bone window, then you could either window it, right? Like this, you can actually take your middle mouse and do this with it, you know? You can do this one too. There you go. Make a bone. Or you can use the other recon that you have. If you're going to have a sharper recon with a bone already on there. And then you can hit this start again. And just do coronal back. I think we were doing a coronal first, weren't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go. There's your coronal. So you hit start down here. See the bone? Now you have a nice bone window. See? See, look at that. That's it looks good, right? Yeah. So there's the metal. See, not too bad around the metal, right? Same thing with the soft tissue. All you saw was a little bit out here, but it wasn't bad. It wasn't as bad as it was originally. And then you're going to save that. You hit, um, once you did it, you save it. And this is going to be another coronal. So I'll just do mono, um, coronal, bone. Okay? There we go. I already wrote it. Now you want to do a sagittal? You just flip this up right here. Take a breath in and hold it. And you got a little seat back in there. Right. The back seat driver. That's good. I like that. <laughs> that's it. Oh, no, that's good. And then you adjust the size to where you want to go, right? See the size? 
It's just like you do over there, right? You're just making sure you cover mm -hmm. everything. That's all. Then you hit start. The same thing. And then you hit save. You know, it'll save it. Oh, that saved. It already saved the um. Oh, the other one. We we look for the name. Yeah. So that that save save we chose. It already automatically save that. It, uh, that if, name, if if you want to save label. it, yeah. Here, let me show you guys. If you want to save it with a name. Then you're gonna click on. Uh, let me just do this again. Three. Pull this up here. There we go. If you want to save it with a name, you have to restart it. Let me show you. Then you come over here with a pencil. See the pencil? See that? I I made that. You just you just yeah. use this one. Oh and yeah. Because my question was because when you press that one, it will. Save it just it gives as a generic. Lesson. Yeah. Oh, it just it just gives you a generic name, but that's fine. Um, but you want to name it yourself. So then you can just say coronal. Bone, right? And, and mono. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. mono. Yeah, mono. I mean, all these that you do on these are going to be like that, you know, so. Coronal bone, right? There you go. Click OK. And then if you want to do the sagittal, you just click there. And now you're ready to do a sagittal. See? Mm. It's already off to the side. If we already did, you know, we already did a sagittal, didn't we? Yeah, I think we did it. So let's do it again. So I just hit start right down here. There's my sagittal. Save it. And you can name it now. So mono sag bone. Okay? There you go. Very cool. Now to do an axial of this, right? In order to do an axial, you guys, you want to plan it either off your coronal or your sagittal plane. And I'm going to come up to this plane and do it off the sagittal one. And, um, and if you right click, you get your menu, and there you can pick your parallel ranges. You see that? So when you select parallel ranges, now you have your lines on top. And I'm, before I start it, I'm just going to put in whatever slice thickness I want. You know, if I want twos or if I want threes, put two there. And it seems to want to create one for you. Just say no. Right, let me just let me put one in. There we go. That's good. Okay, now we can adjust it to start. Maybe, let's do this. Now it starts on top. Maybe pull it all the way up to where you want to begin. Like that. See the image over here that you got? And then come all the way down. But everything I'm doing here is after we helped reduce that artifact. Remember that artifact that was right by the metal? Remember yeah. how bad that was? Look at it. It's not bad now, is it? Yeah. It's nice improved, thing. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's still a little bit, but it's not necessarily like it was. Yeah, it you know. So now I'm going to do an axial. And you could even do this one first if you want to. This will be soft tissue because it looks like soft tissue, right? And then you can just go ahead and hit start on that one. There it is. And you save it with a question mark. And what is this? This is what we call this monoaxial, right? Okay, and really want mono tissue back up. I know, that's what we need. <laughs> soft tissue. Soft tissue. There we go. Click OK. Now, a quick way to do the bone, since you already have it, you can just window it, right? Take your middle mouse and make it make it look bony. Sorry about that. There we go. Make it a little more of a bone window. But if you want it sharper, then you, you're gonna load in. You're gonna drag over up here the one that says bone. You would you would drag that over here, and then you could use that as a planning base. Oh, that we can just drag in. Yeah. And it'll. Oh. Wow. Can, that that way you can use the bony one instead of the soft tissue oh, one and do the same much, thing with yeah, it. But then you have to do it twice. That way, yeah. yeah. But just as this is a shortcut way, and, yeah. and if they if they're okay with it, if they're not, then you can always just drag yeah. the other one over there. I'm just making it as an option for you. So now I'm ready to go. I'm gonna hit start again. Sorry if I'm jumping around here. See how it looks better? It's bone. You're looking at the bone. That looks great. Let's scroll through and look at them. Here comes the metal. See, it doesn't look bad, right? You got a little bit of artifact down here, but that's not bad at all. But that's that's what they want to see. They want to see where the metal. Is going into the bone. See how nice that looks? Mm -hmm. That looks great. And as long as you got the whole thing covered. The only thing on this one is that I just used the soft tissue recon with this and I windowed it darker for the bone. You know, but if they want it sharper, then we can always use the, a sharper recon for that. But, but that's how you do it. So at this point, you can literally drag that bone from over here? There. Yeah, so if you did the thin slices of the 80 and 140, that'll say bone up here. Mm -hmm. Instead of spine, it'll say like bone. You could, you could left click and drag it over here and it'll replace, you know. Just, really? Yeah. Just drop it in. Just drop it in. Oh, wow. So right now I'm just going to.